आपके स्क्रीन पर अगला सवाल देवी जी ये रहा आपके हिसाब से ओयो क्या है ए सॉन्ग बी होटल सी ट्रैवल टेक कंपनी या डी नन ऑफ द बार सो इजी इट्स अ सॉन्ग आया आया देवी जी देवी जी कंट्रोल ओके क्या आप लाइफलाइन लेना चाहेंगी ठीक है ऑडियंस को ऑडियंस के हिसाब से जवाब है बी होटल ठीक है मैं ऑडियंस के साथ जाना चाहूंगी उफ देवी जी गलत जवाब समथिंग लाइक डी आर एच पी or an rhp rhp is a red herring prospectus right so what are we going to understand in this video we are going to try and understand the main business model of the company we'll try and understand how does the business earn money and also what are the different risks involved in this business let me remind you all one more time that all these creative people are spammers that's how my account looks like also remember i never give my mobile number in any chat i neither have an advisory nor do i give any stock tips now as usual let's try and understand what does the company do but here we are going to try and take a reference of the drhp that is a draft red herring prospectus that's what the drhp says orable stays limited that is nothing but oyo it's a leading new age technology platform empowering the large yet highly fragmented global hospitality ecosystem very heavy right in simple words what do they portray themselves as they are mentioning in the drhp that they are a new age technology platform i can say that they are a platform which is trying to empower the travel industry okay so they call themselves as a travel tech platform so you can imagine something like this like doctors have specializations like uh, your ent and uh, ophthalmologist and what not similarly in the it space also they are saying that we are not an it company for any and every industry we are an it solutions provider only and only for whom only for the travel space that is the reason why they are calling themselves as a travel tech platform okay in fact oyo app was the third most downloaded app in the travel Uh, category right so uh, just in case if you have still not gotten that confidence about what does the company do let's try and understand this with the help of an example in our style consider a scenario where shah uncle owns and operates a small budget hotel with 10 rooms in his prime days shah uncle's hotel was filled with guests he had his traditional methods to attract guests he rarely had to change the prices of the rooms in order to attract guests But as time passed, Shah Uncle was not that active as he was in his prime days. Now he was also not able to advertise using the new age technology, which few of his competitors had already started to do. Eventually, this led to drop in revenue. Also, certain customer complaints were not reaching out to him. Well, staff management was also a headache, and accounting was also another task. Because of all these problems the hotel lost its shine and was rarely filled with guests then one fine day he came to know about oyo oyo's full stack technology gave shah uncle's hotel a new life well all in all i hope you have understood that these were the problems with which shah uncle was really struggling but now look at shah uncle how happy he is let's try and understand how these problems were resolved by oyo's tech stack okay the very first one was advertising now 
what solution or what was the good input that Oyo gave. Let's understand again with the help of an example. Once Shah uncle tied up with Oyo, Oyo people will come, they'll click nice photographs of the hotel and now these photographs will be uploaded on the Oyo app. Now, not only will this get updated on the app, but this will also get simultaneously updated on all the other OTA websites. So, something like all these photographs will also get uploaded on booking.com, on Make My Trip, on Agoda and other online travel agents websites, right? In addition to this, because of their intelligent app, the app will suggest that this is the photo which will get the best viewing and this should be the cover page or the home page photo for the hotel, right? So, because of all these uh, technology related inputs, the advertisement will now be up to the mark, right? That is number one. Number two, the problem was because of the revenue drop. Now, I'll give you some statistics which have been mentioned in their DRHP. Because of the full tech stack that Oyo is, uh, is, is giving to the owners of the hotel, you can see here before Oyo and after Oyo is what this slide talks about. So, before Oyo, if I'm talking about a hotel owner in India, our example, Shah Uncle, his on an average, weekly revenue used to be $522, okay, per week. Now, once he partners with Oyo, 12 weeks later, on an average, per week revenue will be $976 per week, which is 1.9 times the previous revenue. Well, is this only happening in India or are there are other countries also showing up similar data? So, I'm not going to show you the data of all uh, countries, but have a look at Europe data. Before Oyo, it used to be 7,551 US dollars income per week. But post Oyo, again, 12th week again we are talking about, here you will see that it is going up to 18,076 dollars per week. This is 2.4 times of what it used to be earlier, right? Now, uh, is this how did this happen? I mean, why was there a jump in revenue? Because Oyo also provides active pricing strategies. So basically it tells you that how the competitor is actually going ahead with the prices. So the technology stack will tell you that ideally you should have these prices so that you have a higher chance of occupancy because of which revenue will ideally rise. Okay. Now the third point. So I hope number one solved, number two solved. Okay. Now let's go on to the third one. Third one was about the customer complaints. Now you can visualize what might have happened in earlier days. Assume that there was a tap leakage or AC was not working. Earlier the customer might have given a call to the reception and said that Ajay, this is not working. Many a times these complaints never reach the hotel owner. Now you can visualize what happens post OYO. The customer will just you know open the OYO app and say that ratings bad one out of five. Why? Tap leakage. AC is not working. Now, a notification will be received by whom directly the hotel owner and hotel owner will understand Achha, room number three, this is the problem because of which the customer has given a bad rating. Will he try and fix these problems immediately? Yes. And because of which he will ensure that the next customer gets a better experience, right? So in simple words, the gap between the customer and the owner is pretty much filled in, right? Last two problems were of the staff management and accounting. Now, what Oyo's tech stack does is that staff management is done through the same app. Accounting can also be done on the same app. So all in all, if you now try to understand that be it accounting, be it staff management, be it managing the customer complaints, be it advertising, all these things are done through one single app. So you, for a normal person like you and me, you can visualize this like an ERP all problems of various departments are solved with the help of one app. Well, I hope you have understood the business model of Oyo. Now let's try and focus as to what is their revenue model or how does Oyo earn money, right? To be honest, when I was analyzing the company, I thought that they earn revenue from subscription model. So because they are providing their tech stack to the hotel, they might charge some monthly fee or an annual fee or something like that. But when I try to go into the details, I found that they actually work on a revenue sharing model. Means what? If 100 rupees is the room rent, Oyo might say that 33 rupees is our revenue share and 66, 67 is your share. Just to give you a unit matrix of that, I'm going to show you an entire diagram for that. But before that, 
again one problem which i was facing i thought that revenue sharing might happen only in those cases where booking happens through their app what about walk in customers will there be a revenue sharing even if there is a walking customer booking answer is yes so basically oyo says that we are not an advertising agency that whatever bookings happen through us will charge only for that oyo says that we are trying to transform your business we are giving you a full solution not only for advertising not only for revenue but for la 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 whatever we have discussed and that is why we will charge uh, or we will do a revenue sharing for each and every booking that happens for your hotel now have a look at this diagram okay this is how you will understand how oyo changed their business model in 2021 now let's say there is a booking uh, a gross booking value of let us say 100 rupees in 2020 versus we are now going to compare this 100 rupees gross booking value if it would have happened in 2021 okay so what would have happened let's say 66 rupees goes to whom the storefront patron share in simple words to the hotel owner and 34 stays with oyo now be 2020 or be 2021 there is no change in the revenue sharing model per se where is the difference let's now understand in the expense side what happens for oyo earlier oyo used to give bare 14 rupees per 100 rupees of booking for loyalty costs or discount but oyo now says will bear only 11 rupees okay one big change you can see here is 8 rupees they used to bear as a minimum guarantee charges means what earlier oyo used to say that come what may we will give you a minimum guarantee of these many rupees now oyo says nothing doing no minimum guarantee it will be more bookings is equal to more revenue khatam no minimum guarantee and that is the reason why you'll see earlier oyo used to spend 8 rupees now in 2021 it is zero same thing store front operating cost now oyo is saying we are giving you nice nice technology now 2 rupees earlier now in 2021 it is zero if you talk about other costs it's more or less the same so no need to talk about those separately but very important now we come to the contribution profit this is somewhat similar to your gross profit okay not the same but somewhat similar to that here you can see that earlier with 100 rupees of gross booking value whatever amount they used to get that is 34 from that after deducting all the expenses they used to be left with only 5 rupees as a contribution profit and now they will be getting 18 rupees as a contribution profit okay so because they have done certain tweaks in their model is their profitability increasing significantly answer is yes now very important would be to see what happens at an overall level so for that have a look at this revenue bifurcation chart okay now if you see if i'm talking about sale of accommodation services their revenue which was 60551 in 2019 by the way rupees in millions it went up to 115000 but now year ended 2020 if you see it has dropped drastically to 28628 why obvious reasons because of corona okay even at a gross level gross uh, revenue level also it has dropped from 131000 whatever in 31st march 2020 to only 39616 for the year ended 31st march 2021 Well when I thought that yes I have understood the company completely one question was still bothering me that why this is not a franchisee model how it is not a franchisee so for that I started digging deep and I was surprised to know that Indian legal framework hasn't defined the term franchise now if you see the finance act of 1999 which provides it it provides that a franchise is an agreement that authorizes the franchisee to sell or manufacture goods provide services or pursue business identified with the franchisor okay we are not doing a law class right now so i'm not going to define and discuss each and every word per se one by one but those who understand a little bit of law they might say that still whatever we read right now this does fit into the explanation of the franchise or franchisee model but now if we dig down deep into this model we will understand that three major requirements are to be fulfilled if it were to be termed as a franchisee model which three let's understand one by one the very first one is co branding now what do we mean by co branding assume that earlier there was a hotel named as uh, hotel ronak okay now once it gets part i mean once it partners with oyo now the new name will be oyo ronak 
okay so is there a co-branding now yes so co-branding done second one to fit into the franchise model ideally there should be assistance in optimizing the revenue whatever we have learned in the video is there an optimization of revenue yes so second also tiktok but the third one is payment of royalty wait in our example is the rona hotel paying any revenue uh, is, is it paying any royalty to oyo answer is no who is collecting the revenue oyo is collecting the revenue through the app and then it is doing a revenue sharing in in what percentage uh, that's what we discussed in the previous section right 34 remains with oyo and 66 is given to whom to the hotel so if you see the last point payment of royalty is that happening answer is no and because the third condition is not being met we can't term this as a franchisee model let's move on ahead with the risks which are involved the very first one is that they are having an ongoing case with zostel the details are not yet clear as the RHP is not yet published. So once it is published, it will be interesting to read more and more on this case. Number two, if some other variant of COVID comes up, which leads to a massive lockdown, in that case, it can have an adverse effect on the business of the company. Third one is that if, if some deep pocket tech giant enters this space and disrupts this entire space, then again, it can have an adverse impact on the business of the company. One more important point is that uh, the, the brand recognition is entirely based on the guest experience at the hotel. So let me just clarify this point. Assume that one uh, customer goes to that hotel Ronak, Oyo Ronak, and he doesn't get a good experience, right? What will he say? Will he say that Ronak hotel was bad? No, he will say that Oyo was bad, right? So that is where they have a risk involved wherein the brand reputation can be at stake if the hotel owner is not able to satisfy the customer, right? And the last one, which everyone has to take a note of it, that currently the company is a loss-making company. Of course, I told you that how their contribution metrics are changing, but it will be interesting to see how fast they can actually benefit from it. Well, after watching the entire video, I hope now you have gotten an answer to the question as to what is the business model of Oyo. And now you are convinced with the fact that it is not into the hotel industry it is actually a travel tech company right also you have to understand that currently oyo is really growing at a fast pace but it is coming at a certain cost one more data point i came to know about this company was that in fiscal year 2021 70.8 percent of their total bookings were from repeat customers so basically that shows uh, the nature of organic and repeat demand that the company is receiving all in all, I can say that it is an interesting business model. It will be interesting to see how the company steers through the future. If you're interested to know more and more businesses, you can click here to know more about the Zomato's business model and you can click here to know about the business model of Raidgen. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.